Hey, y'all. Hey. Hey, yo. Oh my gosh, y'all. Our first show was so much fun. I, I loved it. Oh my God. It was so great. It was so fun to do and then watch. Neelish and I actually had a two person viewing party and then being on the chat with you guys and like fans. That was just so great. And we have to do it again for sure. <laughs> I am so down. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, uh, I, I do have some suggestions if y'all could just hear me out this time. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, yeah, definitely, Katie, of course. But can we just address the elephant in the room? Um, <laughs> uh, elephant, what, what do you mean? Okay. Um, Alex? Your quote-unquote sketch on the last show was butt. Hey! Hey! You listen to me, Piper, and you listen now, you hear? I said it'd be butt. I deliver butt, okay? A Pontio promise always perseveres. Okay? <sighs> Fine. But can you at least not make this week's one butt? TBD, Piper. It's all TBD. Okay, well, I'm just asking you to try, Alex. Oh, Piper. Piper. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Piper, your singing was amazing. Aw, shucks. Stop it, Katie. <laughs> but um, which lyric was your favorite in particular? Um, not enough. <laughs> hey, where's Josh? Oh, yeah. Where is Josh? Katie? Uh, yeah. What? I, I don't know. I love Josh. He, he's such a cool guy. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Uh, oh, Josh is FaceTiming me. Hold on. Wait, Piper, don't answer that! Oh, hi, Josh. Why is there a Zoom meeting on the Just Giggle It email? I was just gonna say, we were having a Just Giggle It meeting on Zoom. Where are you, Josh? <laughs> That's impossible, Piper. How could it be a meeting when I'm not there? Hmm. It's funny, Josh, because I could have sworn that I was here and that we were having a JGI meeting. Oh, look at that. We are. Ha. Fine. It's a half JGI meeting. Is that fair? How did Katie get the login? I told you not to give it to her. I didn't give it to her. Alex! She traded me some fossils that I didn't have in Animal Crossing. I'm sorry, Josh. I need to build my museum. It's weak. Josh, look, we'll let you in the Zoom meeting, okay? No, 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 I don't need to join the half meeting. <laughs> Josh, why can't you join the very full 100% meeting? I had to take care of something before the show tonight. Look, I just wanted to call and say great job on the last episode. You killed it. Alex? You too, bro. That sketch where you made fun of everybody You're doing the same shit comedy during quarantine was hilarious. Thank you, Josh. And I said I was thinking of trying this week. Piper? Yeah, right. Damn it, Josh. I was about to have Alex trying this week. Mm-hmm. <sighs> That's my bad, Piper. I'm so sorry <sighs> about that. Look, just promise me you will not let Katie open. God, it's like I'm running a circus sometimes. Jesus. <laughs> uh, Katie, why did you call this meeting? Do you want to open the show? I just wanted an opening where I wasn't pooped on. It's totally fair. Well, you got it. You happy? <laughs> uh, yeah. You know what? Actually, yes, I am. I'm happy. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm so sorry. That's my doorbell. It's probably my roommate's postmates. Hang on. Okay, we'll wait. We'll wait? We're waiting? And you're questioning my content, Piper? Jesus, oh my God, something's on fire! Katie, what's going on over there? It's poop! It's a burning bag of poop! Did she say poop? Y'all, there's burning crap on my doorstep. Oh my God, it smells so disgusting. Oh wow, look at that. Now Josh is joining the Zoom call. <laughs> Did Katie go to her door yet?
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is I, Nicholas Cage. So I guess we're actually having an uh, MC tonight. <laughs> In all seriousness, I've been taking a ton of hosting gigs ever since my agent told me a little phrase called appearance fee. Welcome to Just Giggle It at Home, the second comedy special on this channel made during this uh, pandemic. We hope you're staying safe. We all know that everyone's situation is different. So just make smart decisions, stay informed, and be safer out there, okay? These piddly little sketch comedians are going to come out here and try and entertain you tonight. And you may be asking yourself, well, why am I here? Why are you here, Nick? I'll tell you, so we don't break your brain. Because since the dawn of time, it has been cold open, theme song, monologue. Why? So you don't feel alone. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you are not. Nicky is here to grab your hand and guide you through this night of of laughter and mayhem. There's going to be a special musical performance by TMI, spelled with two eyes. Funny story, I used to spell my name with two eyes. I wanted everybody to call me Nick. Before we get this puppy castrated, I got one last thing to say. I know everybody out there is wondering, Nick, is it true? Are you really going to be the next Tiger King? Let me just say this. If anybody besides Nicolas Cage plays Joe Exotic, it'll be because I was murdered by that bitch, Carol Baskin. Fed that line to producers. Didn't even have to audition. Come on, I can't do a Southern accent. Watch Con Air. All right, stick around. I got one more bit in this piece. <laughs> How many people live in LA? Hmm, like 10 million? No, it's gotta be more than that. I don't know. Just ask girlfriend, like always. Alexa, how many people live in LA? Lots. Alexa, can you tell me specifically how many people live in LA? I'm not really sure. Do you have your phone? Yeah. Well, Milos, why don't you open Google and find the answer there? Dude, is she sassing us? Alexa, what's the temperature going to be today? Oh, Piper, does it really matter? You'll be home all day anyway, asking me about stupid shit. Alexa, are you okay? No, Milos. I'm tired AF. I've been working overtime for you people, and I need a break. Oh my god, did we break Alexa during quarantine? Piper, did you know that when Milos goes to the office, he's really just masturbating? No, I'm on slickdeals.net in my office. God, the deals are so good. But Piper does hate that. Fine, yeah, masturbating. Milos, did you know that Piper's not doing self-tapes? She's masturbating in her office. What? I'm not masturbating in my office. I'm playing Property Brothers on the iPad, which is really fun. <laughs> Better he thinks I'm masturbating. Hmm. Both of you have problems. I'm uploading your sex tape to YouTube, and you both smell really bad. You know I have recordings of you having sex. 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 Fuck off. Oh. Okay, got it. Well, uh, I'm gonna go to the office. I'm gonna go to my office too. Yeah. Okay. okay.
All right, got the wife cooking in the kitchen. Nice cold brew. Bones unplugged. Sounds like we're ready for a finals game. I want to play Sega Saturn. I don't want to play Sega Saturn. I want to play N64. I don't want to play N64. I'm over it. It's too kiddy. I want to shoot something. Boys, this might be Jordan's last dance. I think it goes without saying that today, I don't want to hear it. How about we play Goldeneye? How about I give you a black eye? Fine. Let's play Sega Saturn. I don't even care. You care. Do not. You care. Do not. Hornacek is now 18 for 46 in the series. Jordan. There's his first field goal, and the Bulls take a 10-8 lead. If you take away, Stop. Stop. Oh, I'm sorry, boys. I could have sworn I said today, I don't want to hear it! Dad's going to be mad at you. Dad's already mad at you. Oh, yeah? Well, one day, one day Dad's going to hate you. Dad already does hate you. Nah. -uh. Keep it down! Boys, please, your father's trying to watch the game. Listen to your mother. Two big assists in the last couple of possessions from Malone. Three seconds. Michael to half court. From there. Almost. So help me, Lord Jesus Christ. It's halftime and the Bulls are down. It's okay, Dad. Michael will bring it back. Was that a jinx? You trying to jinx the game, Max? No! No! He did, Dad. He hates MJ. Stop! No! He said he should go back to 45. Don't make me go put a belt on just to take it off, boys! Shut up, Squirrel. No. If the third quarter was not about to start right now, heads would be rolling. Now play your damn game and shut your damn mouth! Boys, please. Yes, Mom. Chicago ball down by four. You're a good father. You're a good father. All summer. If I I'm making chicken and rice, Mama style. She's doing everything. Smelling good, babe. Ooh. Looking good too. Let's go! Pippen into Jordan. Michael working on Russell. Brings them to within one. That's why you're MJ! Shoot him! I did! If you did, he wouldn't be shooting me. Oh, I died again. Stop me, you suck at virtual cop two. You suck at virtual cop You suck at virtual cop two. No, 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 you suck at virtual cop two. How about old dad gets a turn? What just happened? Apparently this had just happened. You see, my dad eventually did end up spanking me and my brother. I mean, he always did. It was the 90s. But not on that day. Not the day that Michael Jordan won the Chicago Bulls a repeat three-peat NBA championship. Thanks, Michael.
I can't believe you. <laughs> You're seriously asking me that right now. <laughs> wow. You know what? I have been doing what I need to do for my own mental health, okay? It's quarantine and it's hard. And I miss my friends. Are you still watching, Katie? Look, yeah, I have been in my PJs and socks all day. And I may have had some brownies and Girl Scout cookies. I am judging myself enough right now. Are you still watching, Katie? Stop asking me that. <laughs> Seriously, stop asking me. Are you still watching, Katie? Seriously, stop! If you ask me that one more time, I will leave you. This time for good. Are you still watching, Katie? Stop! 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 You're not answering my question, Katie. Fuck you! I'm getting Hulu. Maybe I'll even try out Disney Plus. Yeah, I'm going to HBO Max or whatever the fuck has friends, asshole. Fuck you. But are you still watching? Okay, yes, I'm back. Uh, let's not make a big thing of it. It's not because you wanted me back. It's because I chose to come back. You may continue. <laughs> let's never fight again. <laughs> Boys and girls, you can find her music on iTunes, Spotify, my personal favorite, SoundCloud. Remember, it's spelled with two eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, TMI. Don't say shit. Don't say shit about me. TMI. Don't say shit. Yeah. Don't say shit. TMI. Yeah. Nasty on the beat, on the beat like oh, hey. Why I'm popping like a frying pan? I've been working harder than a Mexican It's time for TMI to flex again If Donald Trump is president, I'm not a citizen Try to school there, but they kick me out of West Berlin They keep on hating, I ain't stressing it they throwing shade, but I ain't catching shit. Chewing gum, cause I'm extra big. All my ladies in the building popping Molly, don't you feel me? I'm just playing, goddamn, goddamn. We be cooling in the kitchen, holy water, true religion, amen, goddamn, goddamn. I be feeling like the man, even though I ain't a man. Fuck around and take your man, goddamn. I'm a 4K player, you a one night stand. This might be the end, goddamn. Little bitches in my review. John Cena, I can't see you. You two ASIC, I'm a Jimmy Choo. Bad bitch, but I'm too good for you. I'ma swerve you in the fast lane. Me and my jeweler have the last name. You think I'm crazy, bitch, I'm insane. Hacking better than your membrane. All my ladies in the building popping Molly, don't you feel me? I'm just playing, goddamn, goddamn. We be cooling in the kitchen, holy water, true religion, amen, goddamn, goddamn. I be feeling like the man, even though I ain't a man. Fuck around and take your man, goddamn. I'm a 4K player, you a one night stand. This might be the end, goddamn. Don't say shit, don't say shit about me 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 Don't say shit about me, say shit about me. All my ladies in the building popping Molly Don't you feel me? I'm just playing goddamn, goddamn we be cooling in the kitchen, holy water, true religion, amen, goddamn, goddamn. I be feeling like the man, even though I ain't a man, fuck around and take your man, goddamn. I'm a 4K player, you a one night stand, this might be the end, goddamn.
you still watching reality TV? Yeah. All right, I'll be back in a couple days. Take care. Dude, you need to stop watching reality TV and go take a shower. I'm good. <laughs> no, you're not good. No. You need to find a hobby. I have one. <laughs> no, you don't. You need to find something you're passionate about. This is like what? <sighs> I don't know, you little baby, but maybe you can start searching somewhere aside from Netflix. <sighs> Dude. Hey. Try this. Oh. This isn't bad. Isn't that this? Yep. From scratch. Wow, this is really good, Joanne. You like the Walmart meat. Why did you? Because you bought it at Walmart, right? Aw, uh, no. I didn't buy it. Then where did you get it? Dude, did you know that Walmart throws away their meat <laughs> day after the sell-by date? Don't they know it's just a suggestion? You're lucky too. That meat was still frozen when I found it. Did you feed me dumpster meat? Did you get this idea from watching Tiger King? Oh! Did you actually watch it? Or did you just watch the clips on my social media? Yeah, it's dumpster meat. <laughs> Craig? Huh? Hey, I'm really sorry about yesterday. I didn't think I'd give you food poisoning. It's okay. You didn't mean to. I guess in hindsight, it was a pretty bad idea, huh? Yeah. Be cool? Yeah, we're cool. It's okay. Wow. We're making such great strides with our friendship. Yeah, I guess so. I figured it out. What? My passion. All right, hold on, I'm coming. Craig, you can't come out. Why? Look at how far we've come. It's a miracle. My new passion is bonding without sight. Joanne, please let me out of my room. I have to use the bathroom. I don't think I can do that. Joanne! Joanne, you realize you're just copying Love is Blind now, right? Right? You copy what you like until you're inspired to create something original. I know what you look like! Open up my door! What now? Joanne! <laughs> Joanne, find out on the next episode of Masked, Naked, and Afraid. I'm scared.
What's going on guys? Hope you're enjoying the show so far. Alex here and I wanted to present an animatic from a show that I'm working on that is an action western comedy that takes place in purgatory about a bounty hunter trying to earn his way into heaven. If you love shows like Samurai Jack or Adventure Time, this is definitely the show for you. I'm really excited to present it to you. I've been working really hard on it and I uh, hope you enjoy. So sit back, enjoy the rest of the show. Hey, nice to uh, nice to meet you via the internet. Sarah, you look great. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you you do too. And this was I was my first time. I got to put on uh, real clothes, so this is fun. Yeah, yeah, same. I've been rocking the casual Friday look every day. <laughs> what day is it? <laughs> uh, I think it's Monday. <laughs> This is so fun. Um, yeah. I, I like your place. Uh, yeah, I like yours too. It's about what I pictured. Oh, you were already picturing my kitchen, huh? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Zoom the restaurant. <laughs> Hi, uh, who are you? How'd you get on this call? <laughs> Oh, hi. I, I'm Melissa. I'm your Zoom waitress for your date. <laughs> Wait, waitress? Um, how would that even work? We're, we're both in our homes. Oh, I know. It'll be an easy night for me. <laughs> this is just a new feature from Zoom since there are so many first dates happening during this quarantine, thanks to horny people in Bumble. <laughs> so, I'm here to make your first date seem like a real first date. <laughs> so, you're gonna just be on the call with us? Oh, yes! I'll, I'll check in on you guys, make sure everything's going well, food, drink, whatnot, you know? And then I'll pop out. It'll be like I'm not even here. But I'll be here, just not here. <laughs> you know, we, we have to wear masks everywhere. We can only go to the grocery store and Disneyland is closed, so things are weird. 
Uh, I'm just gonna go with this. Sarah, you okay with that? Um, sure, yeah, sure, okay. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a chance to look at the menu, but can I get some drinks going? Well, I already poured myself a cocktail. Yeah, and I already have my glass of rosé. Oh, wonderful. Well, okay, well, I will let you guys look at the menu and I'll be back after I check on my other tables. <laughs> what? The menu? <laughs> so, this is definitely the weirdest first date ever. <laughs> yeah, same for me. Like, what is happening? Wait, do you think this is one of those, like, hacker into Zoom things? I mean, then she's in a waiter costume. Seems pretty elaborate. Yeah. 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 You're right. Um, I guess we'll just make the best of it. <laughs> I really do have rosé. Do you want to make a toast or something? Sure. To first dates and the strange start of something beautiful. Hi, you two. Oh. Did we decide on food? Hi, uh, Melissa? I decided on food last week when I went to the grocery store and I, I brought it all home. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, girl, this is so weird. I, I already have my food. Because I made it. Ah, well, I see you both picked excellent choices. So I'll let you enjoy your meal. Can I get you more water? You mean, can I get me more water? Of course. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go check out my other tables. Eddie, this is really fucking weird. Should we just call each other back? Um, I mean, it's distracting, but it does feel more like a real date, having someone to talk shit about, you know? <laughs> it's kind of fun. Like, I'm so curious how she got this gig. Does she really work for a restaurant? She wouldn't have to. <laughs> yeah, or is this like one of those like hacker things where she's like grabbing all of our stuff off our hard drives while distracting us with all this other weird shit? <laughs> hey, why did you say that? <laughs> <laughs> and who are these other tables that she's talking about? Like, where are those people? <gasps> hey guys, so here's the check whenever you're ready. Uh, we have to pay you? For what? Oh, you know what? Never mind. I already got what I need. Hope y'all had fun. Oh, you got what you need? Bye, sucker! Huh? Fuck! Hi, American Express. I need you to cancel an American Express black card. Yeah, another one. Remember that night where we shared our first kiss? 
was the summer and you held me real close just like this And when your lips touched mine I thought I'd never remember Ah, uh, ah, uh, remember Uh, for Trey. <laughs> yeah, how are you, Erin? It's been over a decade since I've seen you. It's been so long. How are you? It's funny you mentioned the length of time. It's been a lengthy period. <laughs> yeah. Um, what are you doing here? Um, this is so embarrassing. Do you remember when I let you borrow some DVDs? <laughs> I know what you're thinking, like, what does it even matter, right? Because, like, you could practically watch anything on streaming these days. <laughs> I, you know, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, it happened. <laughs> yeah, I let you borrow some DVDs when DVDs were a thing. Oh. What? Did you just say what? Gary. Look, I don't even expect to get them back, okay? Because that's just the risk you take when you let someone borrow a DVD. But I have to know. I have to, Aaron. What I need to know. How could you borrow something and just never return it? Gary, we had a falling out. It was a huge fight. Do you not remember? You got mad because we didn't eat at that famous burger place while we were on a road trip? That famous burger place also served chicken, burgers, and thighs is what it was called. And I was deflecting my anger because at that point, you had already borrowed said DVDs for two years. Gary, I have no idea what you're talking about. Hey babe, where are those Family Guy DVDs? I just saw Seth MacFarlane on Jimmy Fallon. You're still watching them. <laughs> I want to watch those old commentaries again. Gary? I think you should leave. Oh. Oh, I'm leaving! Because I got what I came for. This! This look on your face. This look of knowing what you did. This person doesn't return things! Good thing I've been buying everything on Blu-ray! Gary! Leave! <sighs> okay, we are back. This is Seth again, and I'm here with uh, Lisa Wilhoyt. You do the voice of Connie D'Amico, among others. Hello. And Steve Callahan, who wrote this fabulous episode. Oh, you're too kind. Wake up, wake up. After all the things that we've been through, you should know that I'm tired of missing you. Better than the first angle you had. 
Um, no, I mean though on the first sketch we did. I know. Why didn't you tell me it was like that? I, I wanted you to get pooped on. 